Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damio. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert your CSV file into JSON file with hierarchy using your Data Factory data flow activity. So here is my uh, file that have ID, first name, last name, age, skill one, skill two, and skill three. That's our CSV file. It has the uh, two records. Uh, now, what we would like to create out of this, uh, we would like to create something like this. Um, so here we would like to have ID and age, uh, just uh, normal values here. And then uh, we would like to create uh, a set uh, of objects right there for info. So in the info, what we are going to do, we are going to create uh, first name and last name key values. Uh, then we would like to create the skills. Uh, and in the skills, uh, we would like to have skill one, skill two, and skill three. And uh, that's where our uh, first uh, record will end. Uh, now, same thing, we'll go for the second record and keep going for all the records uh, which have, we have in the CSV. So, uh, how you create these uh, hierarchies uh, in the uh, Azure Data Factory in Dataflow, that's what we are going to do it today. So, let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, uh, what I have here, uh, I have my blob storage. In the blob storage, we have an input file called the sample CSV file. This is exactly the same file I just showed you in the paint. So, it has uh, two records. Uh, and then uh, we are going to create a JSON file with the hierarchies. So we are going to go back to the Azure Data Factory here. We are going to go to the author mode. And in the author, uh, what we are going to do, we are going to create a new data flow. Go to data flows tab here and new data flow. And now we will, uh, let's rename this one. Uh, um, I'm going to call this one CSV to hierarchical JSON. Okay. So that will work for us. So that's the name of our uh, data flow. And click here for the source, add source. We know that our source is the CSV file. So we are going to go to the data set here, new Azure Blob Storage, because that's where our file is sitting. It is CSV file. And hit OK. Now select the link service. So you can create a new link service. And here you will be providing your subscription. And then you will be providing your blob storage. Now give the name whatever you would like. So I'm going to call it LNK BLB JSON. Okay. So that's my name of the link service. Our link service is ready. Now navigate to the folder or container where our sample file is. Hit OK. And now first row has header. Yes, that's true. Hit OK. Now what we are going to do, we can preview our data. It's going to show us uh, some sample data. In my case, uh, there are only two records. So, so it's going to show us uh, all the data. So there would be only two records. Uh, but if you have a large amount of data, it's going to show you some sample data. So you have uh, these two records there. It looks good. Now what we are going to do here, we are going to use derived column to create the hierarchies. Uh. So click here on the plus sign and then uh, search for derived column. So I type D and that bring me derived column here. Now what we are going to do in the derived column, we are going to create those hierarchies, right? So here are the column that we can add. So these seven columns will stay as it is and we are adding new columns. Now this column I'm going to call it, if you remember that we would like to call it info. So in the info we have first name and last name. So what we are going to do, I'm going to type info here. And then uh, I'm going to go to the expression part of it here. Once I click here, it is going to ask me, hey, open expression builder. Yes. So I'll click right there. And uh, this uh, column that we just created uh, in the info, it is uh, showing up right here. Now, here you have the leverage to add sub uh, columns here. So what we are going to do under the info, we are creating two more columns. Uh, so I'm going to create an add sub column. And I'm going to call this one first name. And uh, in the first name, what we need to do, we have to map to our columns. Uh, here, uh, this is a, if you see, these are our column, first name, IDs, and all that coming from our file. So I'm selecting a F name here. So once that's done, now what we need to do, we are going to go to the next, add the next sub column. That's going to be our L name. Now in the L name, click right there, go to the L name. So it's mapped to the last name. Let's hit save in case uh, we make a mistake. Uh, now we can add a new column right here, or we can save and finish uh, and add in the data flow back and come back to it. Uh, we remember that we have to create another hierarchy that's called the skills. Uh, so we can um, just simply add from here as well. So add, create new column. If you do that, it's creating uh, on the same level of uh, info. 
So we can call this one scales. And under the scales, uh, now we, we are going to do, we are going to add those uh, three sub columns. Uh. Here uh, I'm going to add uh, scale one. And uh, in the scale one, uh, if you remember that, uh, that is mapped to the scale one. Now we are going to add another column called scale two. Sorry, what happened? Uh, yeah, that we don't need here. We need to add it here on this level. Add sub column. So they are under the scale. So scale two looks good. And uh, then uh, scale two. And then we are going to just save for the sake we don't make a mistake. And uh, we don't have to redo the work. Skill three. Okay. And this is going to be mapped to the skill three. So this is all done now. And uh, hit save. And now what we can do, we can save and finish. And uh, we should be all good here. So unable to parse the expression, make sure this is uh, right. So this should be, let's see what happened here. Go to the expression builder again. And uh, if I click on info, uh, first name, yeah, somehow it did not save that information. So first name, map to first name, last name, last name, okay, skill one. So just skill one, skill two is good. Skill three is good. Let's hit save and finish. Now it is all good. So uh, now we have two new hierarchies created here. One is called info and one is called skills. So you can see these uh, curly parentheses. That's what it shows. If you have array of values, it's going to show you the square brackets. If it is the uh, this uh, um, set of objects, uh, it's going to show you this uh, curly parentheses around it. So it's a uh, object. Now we are all good here. We don't have to do anything here just to go to the data preview and uh, let's refresh. So it's going to show us the data now. Now we can see that uh, it is uh, showing us all the data and also it has added two new columns to it. Uh, one is info. So you can say that under the info object, we have first name, last name, and then under the skill, we have skill one, skill two, and skill three. And it is uh, parsing that data accordingly. There's no data for uh, Raza for the skill three, so, so it is shown in null. Now we are all set here. What we need to do here, we need to uh, get the sync. So add this button here and then uh, scroll down all the way or just type sync. Now sync is there and go to the data set and here we will be creating uh, the JSON file. It's gonna be in the same blob storage. So click blob storage and the JSON file. And then now uh, what we are gonna do, we are gonna use our link service. So um, LKBLB blob and go to the browse. And here we go to the output container. And uh, then that's all we need to hear, hit okay. And uh, we go to settings. And in the settings that uh, we are gonna tell, uh, create this uh, single file. Once you do that, we are setting that value. And I'm going to call this one uh, CSV to JSON hierarchical data dot JSON. Okay, so that's good. Now we go to the mapping here, and in the mapping we are going to go auto mapping, so that we disable it because uh, we need to delete some column. If you remember that we have uh, uh, all these column first name, last name, uh, skill one, skill two, skill three columns as well, uh, but we created two more columns here. Uh, so we don't want to be replicating or duplicating the data and uh, we are going to delete the columns uh, that's uh, already here and uh, we just uh, want to delete them. So I'm going to delete all these columns. Now we are left with the ID, age and info and skills. So this is exactly I was uh, showing you here in the starting. So you need ID, age, then we have created the info, we have created the skills. Looks good. So these columns are selected and uh, we should be fine. Now we can preview the data if we want, but in my case, I'm fine with that. We don't have to preview every time. Now what we will do, we will, uh, this is called CSV2 uh, H JSON, so hierarchical JSON. We are going to go create a new pipeline and uh, then call this the uh, data flow. And uh, here we call this one CSV2 hierarchical JSON. That's the uh, name of my pipeline. I'm going to bring the data flow here. So bring data flow. And once you bring the data flow, go to settings and here you select the data flow. So remember that CSV2 hierarchical JSON, that's the data flow name we would like to run in this pipeline. Now let's debug our pipeline and it should read the CSV file and convert our CSV file data to the JSON hierarchical data. 
Our pipeline is completed and uh, with success. So that's good news. Let's go to the uh, blob storage. And here is the blob storage. We have input and output containers. Go to output container. And that's where we should see our file. Let's click on CSV to JSON uh, hierarchical JSON file and uh, we go to the edit and that's where we can see the data so if you remember we have ID then we have age and then now uh, we have info and then info comes uh, in this uh, 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 hierarchy so see right there that's what we have there and then you have skills uh, and they come also in these uh, hierarchical data right there and then uh, you have a closing uh, parenthesis uh. and uh, for the second record the same thing happened so this is exactly the same format uh, what we have uh, right uh, here. So this is how you will be creating a hierarchical data in the JSON, uh, you know, from your CSV or from relational database uh, system. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video will help uh, uh, and I will see you guys uh, in next video.